What's up guys, this is Teddy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This video we are going to be talking about interfaces in TypeScript. And interfaces themselves are not very complicated. They're just sort of a weird concept. And the way that I describe interfaces is they force you to do two things. And for right now, this is probably all you need to know if until you get more advanced, but they just do two things. They force you to use properties and they force you to use functions. And you may be thinking to yourself, well, why would I want something to force me to use something? Like, is it, that doesn't really make sense. Well, it makes sense in TypeScript. And it makes sense that you want objects and you want functions and you want all of your code to conform to some type of object or type because things can get out of control if you don't like i said a lot of typescript is just having um logical guardrails up in your code so that people can work together and not get screwed you know one person doesn't make a change that screws somebody else up and let's just take this function and let's add an interface to it. And so if you look at this is kind of a trip, like a, a function that's there to make you think because there's fun. I mean, this this is correct. But if we were to do this in TypeScript, it would give us an error. And one of the fundamental things that I used to get tripped up with when I first started programming is I would see objects being passed in and I didn't really notice that they were being dotted into. And if you look right here, they're actually, we've got some, we've got a dot going on. And what if I were to pass into this function a string? You know, it's not an object. And if this were regular JavaScript, it wouldn't work. So what we do and we did this in previous videos, but I'm just gonna do it again right now, just in case somebody's coming in from this to, from a different video. But we would have name, and this is this is we're type checking the parameters here. We would have name, and then we would have string. We would have type string, and we would have that for our type checking because we don't have to. If, and if you've familiar with TypeScript already, you know that we can put like another object in here. And that's what we're going to, going to do. So if you look, it's going to make sure that we're passing in an object of with a property named string and a property type string. And if you look here, force code to use properties. So we're doing number one right now. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab an object and show you, give you an example of something that's going to be passed into it. So we're going to go over here. I'm going to get this interface. I went ahead and made this little fake interface for you guys. So we're going to go down here. I'm going to bring this here. And what's going to happen is, is we're going to pass in this object up here. It's going to go down. This string is going to go right here. This type is going to go right here. And what we can do is now we can just have our Pokemon interface. So instead of having all of that, that huge object up there, what we can have is just an interface and I've already got a um, function in there. Let's not, let's take that out. So just the name and just the type. And because we have, and because we're forcing this function to use those properties, if we don't use any of those properties, it's going to, it's not going to, it's not going to let us. So next thing is functions. So how are we going to put a function into in an interface and it's it's the same exact thing an interface can check functions and it can also check properties so what we're going to do is we're going to just take one we're going to call it pokemon yell and we're going to have it return a I'm trying to think let's have it return a string and what's going to happen is it's not going to let us. It's basically going to error because we don't actually have this in here. So what we need to do is we need to add, because we're having to satisfy this contract, we need to go in and we need to add this. So we're gonna go in, we're going to add console.log and we're going to have Pokemon, um, Pokemon dot Pokemon yell. Little bit redundant, but uh it's okay for right now okay so now 
this interface has been fully imp implemented. And you could see how this would be very important. Think if you're programming and you needed this function to be used across a code base and you needed it in you needed this in order for certain parts of your code you need to enforce functionality that's the reason why people call it a contract if i enter into a contract with you i am enforcing you to do something i am enforcing you to actually uphold to my code so let's go ahead in here and we're going to actually code this thing up and we're going to see it live in action okay so First thing, we've got our Pokemon, and now I've got it set to any. It's the, it's the exact same thing that we used in our code before, except it's set to any. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here. We're going to go interface Pokemon, and then we'll go name, and our name needs to be a string. Our, our type, yeah, we got a type, needs to be a string as well too, and we also need to add our Pokemon yell functions and it's going to return a string look at that okay so now let's go ahead down in here and let's add this little rascal to our parameters and look at that because we don't have the Pokemon dot yell watch what happens argument of type and you will see this a lot in real life you're going to see a lot of is not assignable parameter type Pokemon. So what we need to do, we need to go in here and we need to implement it. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go console.log, we're gonna go Pokemon dot Pokemon yield. Okay, so now we need to go up here and we need to actually add our function. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna go Pokemon dot yield, and we are going to pass make sure we have a return type of string turn that into a function and what i am going to do is i'm going to return this dot name it's pretty much going to be like a very fancy getter method and if you make this an arrow function it's not going to work because the scope's going to be off and it's not going to be able to pull the name so make sure that it's not an arrow function and it's just a uh regular function with brackets and We've got our console log, so let's go ahead in here and run this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to step through the debugger because I kind of want to walk through it and actually see it run. I like to see things run. So go in here. We're going to go step in. Let's see. Pokemon.name. Pokemon.type first. And then we're going to go Pokemon.yell. See if that... And it goes and gets our name from our... Pokemon object, which is good, does all the type checking, and that is some kind of, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what that is, but our code works. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you uh, liked it, make sure to hit that uh, like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thank you for watching.